Hey, y'all, y'all tuned in right now to that Hood Talk News, man. That's your boy, Big Panamera, JT Bigger Figure in Lockstone, Blackstone. You dig all the way from Fillmore, Africa, man. Keep pushing, my G. I just want the paper, I just want the paper Tryna run that check up, I ain't worried about no hater I just want the paper, I just want the paper Run around with that bankroll on my life, ain't looking for danger Yeah, yeah, we getting money over here Yeah, I see them haters over there Yeah, them boys be wishy-washy, yeah Yeah, oh, oh, oh Shut your dumb ass up! Man, you already know what it is. All money in, no money out. Jay Stone from the east to the west. You already know, man. Shout out the Hood Talk News. You already know. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man, God damn it! I want to talk about this uh check-in thing that's going around. You know what I'm saying? I- I'm going to call it the OG check-in because I don't hear none of these young niggas really talking about it, right? Because these old niggas, man, they 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 own this manipulation uh uh shit, man. So let me break it down. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of these niggas come in, right? They talking about check in, right? But as soon as the shit get hot, then they try to dumb down the check in. Now we we ain't stupid. We know what what the fuck check in mean, goddammit. We know what check in mean. You see what I'm saying? Cause when you go to another city. It's not mandatory that you need to check in with a motherfucker. I'm going to tell you like that. And back in the day, it wasn't no check in, none of that shit there. Check in sound like something, you know, like, nigga, you my master or something, god damn it. We went on none of that. And I don't give a fuck how much y'all try to, every time something happened, right, the OGs try to dumb it down. But when shit ain't going on, you can see them. I'm telling y'all, you better check in. Like, you know, you better do this shit, right? But back in the days, we used to be like, man, just hit me up when you come to the city. It ain't no such thing to check in because I done been in plenty of rough ass cities and I ain't check in with nobody. You know why? Because I wasn't hanging on that part of town. Who the fuck come in? Come on now. Now I understand, you know, these days you don't even have to go to the hood no more because they got dispensaries and all type of shit everywhere where you can get your dope from. And, the, and, and most of the dope ain't coming out the hood anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because I know when we used to hit these cities, right? We had to go to the hood, check in with the hood people, you know what I'm saying? Get our sm- get our weed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You had to do that back in the days. But you don't have to do that shit now, man. And, and, and what's really a goddamn check-in? Because, see, you niggas is confusing me, man. You niggas is confusing me. You old niggas are confusing me. I'm not checking in with a motherfucker, man. You hear me? It's no such thing, goddammit. Because I'm going to tell you like this. While y'all niggas checking in, because I only see most of these older niggas talking about checking in and shit. And, if, and, 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 and for the young niggas that's talking about checking in, you got to understand when y'all check in with that person, you better ask them. Nigga, if something jump off, I, now I done checked in with you. If something jump off, are you going to shoot for me? Are you going to kill for me? If something jump off, I don't give a fuck if it's one of your homeboys. He might come up on some other shit. He might not be in agreement with you. I checked in with you. He might say, hey, that nigga ain't check in with me. Are you going to have my back from your people? You see what I'm saying? Because when you come to a motherfucker town talking about checking in, if one of these little young niggas want to get off the chain, what what the fuck you going to do about it? Now, you know this nigga longer than you knew me, but you told me to check in with you. I'm going to be all right. See what I'm saying? So we got to know how far this check-in shit go. You know what I'm saying? Because I hear a lot of these niggas talking about, oh, when you check-in really mean when you come to the city, you know how to move. Fuck knowing how to move, nigga. I'm not trying to. Who go to a city to try to be a, especially, a, come on now. And they ain't talking to nothing but entertaining millionaires and motherfuckers like that because they ain't talking to no regular niggas. They not talking to no regular motherfucker. Because as a regular person, tell me how many times y'all had to go in somebody say, oh, yeah, I'm taking a family to Georgia this year. Or I'm going to Alabama this year. How many times did y'all check in with a motherfucker? Please let me know. 
Or you just went on vacation and just said, hey, I'm going to see this city. See, that's the that's the dumb, uh, 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 stupid shit. Niggas in the hood keep running. I ain't going to say all oh, niggas in the hood. You got you. T- these are these stupid old niggas, man, because they trying to come up, man. No, it ain't no such thing. Listen to me, young niggas. All you rappers, entertainers, is no such thing as a check in. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, that nigga might take you on your his block and he might can say, hey, yeah, the nigga with me or whatever to a couple of niggas. But it's niggas sitting to the side that don't give a fuck about that. If you got something they want, and this is how you know the dumb niggas that don't know, they go check in with a nigga supposed to be from the city, right? And then they go in the hood with all the jury and shit on. Man, come on, man. Niggas don't care nothing about these niggas over here that you checking in with. Like I said before, ain't no one man run no city, man. All this check in shit, check in, check in, check in. I'm hearing this shit all over the internet. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. Every time a rapper dies, see, I'm telling you, that's why it's always good to check in. Check in for what, nigga? You can't save my life, nigga. You can't save my life. Listen, y'all, and I'm talking from a nigga that was part of the goon circuit, goddammit. I was part of that shit. So I knew and, 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 and sat around. Niggas that plotted on niggas just like that. Like, nigga coming to town and think he cool with this nigga. And I, I know the, the, the robbers, the killers, and all these niggas, man. We all do. Most of us. We ain't, Like I said, man, we ain't come from no Beverly Hills. All the, Even if you weren't in the hood on no street shit, you still from the hood, goddammit. Everybody that's from the hood ain't active on street shit. There's a lot of people tuck their tails and keep on going, man, and, and make it on out. You see what I'm saying? But I ran with all these niggas, man. I ran with all these niggas so I could tell you, man. Niggas never safe, man. I know niggas from our community that goddamn made it and hear the talk. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you used to hear the talk of niggas, you know, saying, hey, man, nigga going to get that nigga ass. You see what I'm saying? But when you in, uh, in the hood on street shit, that ain't none of your business. You hear that talk all the time. And any street nigga could tell you that. How many niggas come? Yeah, that nigga with such and such, man. I don't give a damn about that nigga, nigga. I'm still gonna touch that nigga. I heard goddamn uh I think I, I think it was King Von. I heard King Von said, you know, Dirk had to, you know, calm him down because he was still on street shit. He said, goddamn, every nigga come around with money, he ready to rob their ass. But you know, you know, that that was one situation. You see what I'm saying? But it's a hundred. Hundreds of goddamn King Vons in these goddamn neighborhood that don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck about what this old nigga say. He don't run shit. Because you see that nigga say, oh, what's up, OG? You know what I'm saying? OG can't protect his damn self. You see what I'm saying? So ain't no such thing as no goddamn check-in. If you niggas are not from that hood, you's a fucking alien. God damn it. Because anywhere you go in any city, right? Just say California. If I go to Beverly Hills, I ain't got to check in with them folks. I ain't got to check in with nobody in Beverly Hills. If I go to Hollywood, I ain't got to check in with no fucking body, man. I done been around plenty entertainers. Done went to uh, uh, plenty states and cities and shit with them. And not one time a motherfucker checked in. You know why? Because he wasn't hanging in them goddamn areas. He wasn't hang- They wasn't hanging in them fucking areas, man. Like I told y'all, man, they gave us these communities. You see what I'm saying? I ain't happy to go back. I done seen this shit all my fucking life. I'm not happy to go back to see no goddamn broke down shit that I done came from. What, I'm going to another city to, 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 to see the same shit I came from? Hell no, I want to see new shit. Shit I ain't never seen before. Nice shit, goddammit. People getting money. Everybody coming up, you know why? You know why I want to see this shit? So I could go back to my hood and teach my niggas this shit. Look, nigga, it is the other side. We don't have to live like this, nigga. We can get some money, too, and put our family in a better position, man. Come on, man. It ain't no going back once you already left, goddammit. You help from a goddamn distance, man. See, one thing about us as black people, we got to start cherishing our fucking life more, man. We cherish what people think about us, what people's going to say. If I do this, I'm going to look like this. If I say this, I'm going to look like this. If I go and do this, they're going to think of me like this. And that's what the fuck we live by, man. 
Come on, man. We got to do better than this shit, man. Niggas happy with nothing, man. You niggas right here killing each other. That, you, you niggas right here killing each other, hurting each other. And we ain't getting no farther yet, man. We ain't getting nothing out of this shit, man. Nothing. We dying. We dying, man. We dying like a motherfucker, man. Back in my days, man, when a nigga go through something with a nigga, it was always about, at least, at least in my motherfucking city, Y'all know I'm from the goddamn cocaine capital, goddamn it. It was always about business, money. Come on, man. You niggas are killing for nothing, man. You niggas are killing for nothing, man. Nothing. One thing about it, man, in my days, when niggas was dying over envy, jealousy, and hey, we knew it was about something. We knew that shit came with the game. We knew it came with the game. We knew what the fuck we were signing up for. A lot of these kids ain't signing up for this shit. They signing up for the music industry. So they got to check in with you. And they didn't sign up. They, they doing music, man. They ain't got to fucking sign, check in with no fucking body. Yo, little check in ain't going to stop the whole city from getting on a nigga ass if they want them. God damn it. You niggas got to move in a better way, man. So niggas won't, won't even be stepping to you talking about some check in. You see what I'm saying? This internet shit opened up too much to these celebrities, man. It opened up too much in a motherfucking life. Motherfucker life. God damn it. I remember back in the days we used to look at Michael Jackson like a superhero because we didn't know every goddamn thing about him. We just knew the shiny glove and this nigga is moonwalking across the stage like a goddamn uh, motherfucker from outer space. He was amazing to us, god damn it. We didn't need to know every goddamn thing. But knowing everything about these niggas is making them vulnerable to the goddamn robbers, man. They plotting now. They can follow a nigga whole timeline and know what the fuck he on and then get to him. You see what I'm saying? Too much information getting put out there, man. Too much motherfucking information, man. So I'm going to say this to all my young niggas coming up in the game. Listen, I see a lot of people and see this the narrative they've been wanting to spin because rap music been making a lot of motherfucking young niggas uh, millionaires and moving right next door to these motherfuckers. Listen to me now. Rap is not dead. The shit you rap about need to be dead. All that motherfucking stepping on a goddamn nigga. Come on, man. All that stepping on a nigga, man. All that smoking your ops and shit. That's another brother died, man. Come on, and it could be you. And nigga gonna be doing the same shit. Talking the same language. Talking that. Come on, man. We looking ignorant out here, man. Come on, man. If you don't like the other side, you don't like the other side, man. We ain't got to let these motherfuckers know this is what, how we treating each other inside our community. Because, God damn it, they going to treat us any kind of goddamn way as long as they keep seeing this shit. Why like, the fuck you think they tell him, Kanye, yeah, he better apologize. Because we, they not going to respect us if we don't have respect for fucking each other, man. Come on, man. We got to get this shit together, man. Y'all niggas, we, we, niggas going to... Uh, listen, man. Some of this shit, I don't blame these motherfuckers for taking advantage of you motherfuckers because you're letting, you, you're letting them do it. You're letting them do it, man. Building more prison, less schools, goddammit. it. Because that's where you niggas going. They, they love you niggas. Look around. This is what I want you niggas to do. Look around, right? I want you to go look at all your art music. I'm going to tell you how dumb you niggas is and how they turn on you niggas and how they, they got you niggas fighting against each other, right? You would think all this shit these niggas talking, right? They putting out this music they sell. So all you niggas out there that stepping on niggas, go look at all your ops plus you. Go look at the bottom of your goddamn release and see what it say. Who is described by? It ain't described by no, no black owned company. This is what they putting out, nigga. They not signing nothing positive. Y'all niggas need to look at this shit. They not signing the positive rap no more. They signing y'all because y'all is a, you, you motherfuckers stepping on each other. That's a big business for them. Life insurance, po, uh, life insurance policy, as soon as they sign, y'all motherfucking ass. That's how dumb you niggas is. Just go look. When you make, make, before you make your next stepping on an op song, go look at the bottom of all y'all shit. And you're going to see that white man at the bottom smiling and laughing all the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. They love to wake up and say, who that? Oh, shit. He ain't got to get his cut no more. Boy, we got a life insurance policy on that motherfucker. Goddamn. Boy, we, hey, look. Go find the next step. Don't, the, the artist that's stepping on shit. And all you little side uh, managers and shit. 
that's taking these young niggas to these people, man, y'all need to be ashamed of yourself, man. Y'all niggas going to burn in hell, man. Doing anything for the motherfucking money. Y'all niggas going to burn in hell, man. Y'all niggas going to burn in hell for the shit y'all doing to these young niggas. Y'all the motherfucking gatekeeper. Y'all got damn leading them titties, motherfucker, to put out more stepped on shit. And you're encouraging them in the studio saying, yeah, nigga, hold up. Yeah, you gotta, but nigga, you got to step on more shit than that. Come on, man. Come on, man. The prime example of they do anything for the money and the goddamn clout. They do anything, man. Y'all niggas died and your managers is coming. It, 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 listen to this shit, y'all. These niggas are dying, right? The manager done boosted them up, done took them to the label, done got them to deal, and, you know, shook hands with the white man. These niggas are dying with nothing, and the managers are becoming famous. So y'all know these niggas going to do this more and more. You always going to see a manager. Every nigga that died, his manager became goddamn famous right after he died. Come on, man. Let, we got to do better than this shit, man. We got to do better than this shit. Hey, man, I just came to bring y'all the real like I always do. Y'all know I'm always do that, man. Like, share, and subscribe to the realest platform on the planet. Man, hit us up on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you can find us at, man. Listen, that, that, listen all them fake hood talk news pages on uh, TikTok ain't me, goddammit. The one with my face on it. You can find it in, 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 on my goddamn uh page on youtube anything that you see on my page on youtube you know you following the right shit just go to a, a about on youtube and you see everything right there facebook twitter instagram tiktok if you ain't falling from there you, you might be following a fake page god damn it you might be following a fake page i just want to let y'all know that but like share and subscribe to the realest platform on the planet hood talk news I'm out. Yo. Yo. We on. We gon' do what? We gon' do what? We come through this bitch and harder than core. Most of the bullshit we tend to ignore. Most of these niggas be snitching, these bitches be tricking for Gucci, best Fendi Dior. Fit to my shooter, he's crap by the door. We turning up just to even the score. We independent, no label, no hand in no favors. That mean we be getting back more. Money goes up, she be dropping it more. Labels be sweating, be knocking on doors. They ain't no slave, you a hater, be turning the tables. Just know who we doing this for. Them niggas that will come through your front door. Just know we trying to get them so much more. We sitting at the table like fuck a favor. If not, what we doing this for? Uh. Don't make a move cause you bound to get shot Ain't no one out here won't issue for clout Don't want no issue, not with you, they dish you Won't undo the pain, mama feel if I die Don't need my little broski asking the why Tell my homies I stay sober, they high What would you do if they crewing up on us like Ooh, sucker shit can't fly I avoid getting high, beauty of the naked eye On point, no lie Real G, say low key, I told all my homies We gon' make it home alive, unapologetic We don't apologize, the niggas I know they gon' ride Any problems, we gon' hit up the guys Fuck you haters, I'm the one you despise ah. I'm not going to